The first season of Battlestar Galactica is a contender for its best, and this is far from common in the realm of science fiction TV. Normally, the demands of world building that are largely unique to science fiction and fantasy make first seasons of shows from those genres into a difficult balance of grand scale exposition and short form storytelling. Many science fiction series fail to strike this difficult balance, with even truly classic shows like Babylon 5 and Star Trek The Next Generation suffering from lacklustre first seasons. This is not the case for Ron Moore's Battlestar Galactica, however, and this success is achieved through careful pacing in the construction of the season-long story and brilliantly timed moments of emotional payoff. Battlestar Galactica is not a cheerful show, and its grim tone and atmosphere are quickly made transparently clear in the pilot episode 33. 33 is widely considered to be one of, if not the best pilot episode in the history of science fiction TV, and for good reason. The episode inducts us into the horrible reality of life on the colonial fleet, as exhausted officers and civilians desperately struggle to escape the relentless pursuit of the Cylons. By showing the fleet driven to the edge of survival across the very first episode, the show creates a sense of relief when the fleet finally finally manages to get the tiniest reprieve from danger at the end of the episode. Even though the normality the fleet has returned to is barely any better, we, like the characters, have been taught to place great value on any semblance of calm and safety that presents itself. Across most of season one, this atmosphere of constant tension and anxiety is maintained, as the seemingly unstoppable threat of the pursuing Cylons continues to hang like the Sword of Damocles over the Galactica and her fleet. In the short term, we know the fleet can sometimes protect itself long enough to flee from attack, but the larger situation the characters are trapped within seems inescapable. The Cylons cannot be reasoned with, they cannot be hidden from, and they cannot be beaten. All humanity can do is continue to run. That is until we reach Season 1, Episode 10, The Hand of God. The Hand of God is an incredible episode for a variety of reasons, ranging from mysterious foreshadowing with Six and Baltar, to excellent character development with Adama, Apollo and Starbuck, to stunning visual effects in one of the show's best battle sequences. But this episode serves its real purpose to the greater story through its ending. Hand of God is the moment where, after almost a full season of anxiety and doubt, we finally see the Colonials stand their ground, fight the Cylons on their own terms, and win. The colonial victory in the Battle of the Tilium asteroid by no means changes the nature of the fleet's situation, and the show is careful to make clear that humanity are still very much the underdogs, but at the same time, this brilliantly placed moment of triumph is wrung for every ounce of emotional payoff it should be. As the victorious pilots celebrate on the flight deck, we hear the first use of the track that would become the defining piece of Battlestar Galactica music. As it plays, we see the resolution of two small personal stories, as Lee symbolically reconciles with his father and has his faith in his ability abilities reaffirmed by Starbuck. We even see minor characters like Crashdown given brief moments of celebration, and we hear as Adama orders the remaining alert Vipers to chase down and destroy the Cylon Raiders that are for the first time running away. Across its fantastic first season, Battlestar Galactica brilliantly directs the emotions of its viewers, carefully absorbing them into a grim and defeated atmosphere until finally, at the perfect moment, BSG proves to us that its melancholy setting is not simply there to create a mature tone, but to act as a crucible to test the character's resolve, and to make it that much more meaningful when they are able to overcome adversity together. As the Gaelic lyrics in the background state, despite our weariness, we'll follow the road. A lesson that the characters and viewers learn together in this episode, as the unstoppable adversary is, however briefly, stopped. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed that one. I really like making these storytelling videos alongside the spacecraft ones, but sadly they never really do that well in terms of views by comparison, which I suppose is to be expected given that we've set it up as a spaceship channel for all these years. But if you enjoy these videos as well, please do consider pledging your support on Patreon, because I'd love to be able to carry on making videos like this even if they aren't necessarily that viable in terms of ad revenue. And if there is some support for it, there's loads of interesting concepts in the sci-fi genre that I'd love to talk about in this kind of style. So please do let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in more stuff like this and if you would be please do consider pledging on patreon because it really means the world and it helps us do more experimental stuff like this rather than having to take the safe bets every time on what we know is most likely to pay off but thank you all for watching again i really hope you enjoyed this one this is daniel from space Dog signing off